So Adrian Valera, let me first tell you about Disclosure Fest. He's the founder of Disclosure Fest and the Disclosure Fest Foundation is an initiative and community-based nonprofit platform that unites like-minded people in an effort to raise consciousness, education on health and wellness and to create awareness of global environmental and humanitarian humanitarian initiatives with volunteer-based programs. Disclosure Fest organizes a series of events for local communities throughout the year to expand our higher consciousness and to unite with the energy of Mother Earth. Disclosure Fest has an actual signature event that's every year. Uh, normally it's in the summer, but it's gonna be on uh, 1010, so it's right after this event. Adrian and myself, we've collaborated on many levels. I'm gonna be a host at, uh, at the event as well. He's here this morning and we help promote each other. So we're really implementing conscious collaboration. But beyond that, I was introduced to Adrian maybe two years ago now, two and a half years ago. And then um, slowly but surely we started working together, sharing speakers, numbers. And I gotta say, Disclosure Fest, we had a tent there last year in 2019. One of the most, if not the most conscious festival I've ever been to. Such great energy, such a pure intention. Uh, I want to go ahead and not only just bring Adrian on, but I want to also like, let's have a conversation about his story and how he got to this place. Amazing person doing great work and really doing practical um, steps. That's what this event's about, by the way, is how can we implement all this spiritual knowledge into practicality and make some actual change. And Adrian is one of those guys doing it. So let's go ahead and bring Adrian on. Hey, what's up, Neil? Thanks for having me. Hey, brother. How are you, man? Yeah, dude. I've been watching these. They're, they're going so awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. So why don't you tell us about a little bit about your story, you know, like how you even got into basically discovering Disclosure Fest or maybe like a, a synopsis of your spiritual journey before you even started thinking about creating Disclosure Fest. Yeah, wow. Interesting. Yeah, that's going to be, uh, do we have a little bit of time? <laughs> we got 35 minutes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, basically in the early 90s, this all started with a, a UFO experience. I was in my mom's backyard and I saw a UFO three nights in a row, same space in the sky, same, same length of time in the sky over 40 minutes. It was really trying to get my attention. Um, and uh, shortly after, I, uh, actually a few days after I went to um, see Bashar, which is, uh, I'm sure you all know about Bashar. He used to do it, do these channelings out of a bookstore over here in Canoga Park. And then I asked him about this. So, you know, he, you know, was, I told him, I was like, I couldn't get this full download. And, <clears throat> and he just went into some weird galactic files like he always does. And he came back with this one word, he said, Lily which, uh, you know, I couldn't figure out. But um, a few weeks later, I woke up in the middle of the night and there was this apparition extraterrestrial um, being floating over me, which freaked me out. This is like, you feel like all this, all this time that we've been like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see an ET or, or, or a craft. But when it actually happened, I was like, whoa, I actually wasn't ready. You know, um, and this fear built up. And once it got to the highest point of fear, like she disappeared. Um, shortly, a few months after that, I this was my old hippie days. I was hitchhiking to the Rainbow Gathering in Missouri. And as, as you know, I always you know camp out with all the healers and I'm working on all these people and um, with massage and, and, and uh, uh, you know, different past life regression work that I do. And, um, and one of the, the people that were in line ended up being this, this, this woman named Lily. And uh, when she, I got her on the table and I touched her on her back, um, this flash of information came through like a movie. And basically I saw like where she lived in Hawaii, her way, the way her room looks. So I can describe the pictures on her hallway, what her backyard looks like through a window. Um, us, you know, entangled in a, in a beautiful tantric connection and this other entity there just in the background. So fast forwarding that, that entity, that, that, that name Lily that, that Richard was talking about was this Essasani hybrid that is my child and also this woman, Lily's child that I met at the Rainbow Gathering. Wow. 
And this is kind of what activated it all. From there, I started channeling more and a lot more came through with my healing practice. Um, and then, you know, like everything happens, we get into this amazing spiritual world and something can comes into our life like a, like a relationship that kind of knocks it off a little bit. And then, and then I got into the music industry. So the music industry is where like a lot of my wealth of knowledge within getting to the masses kind of, uh, you know, came about and I've been in the music industry for over 20 years starting bands like Slipknot and Papa Roach and System of a Down and Incubus and really, really huge bands. All four of those bands were my, were my favorite bands for five years, at least, yeah. like, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's so it was really cool getting that. So finding those bands got me attention by record labels, and then the record labels were like, you know, let's bring Adrian on as like A and R. So then I had the golden pen; I can sign whatever band I wanted, or you know, make any records. But but really, it was you know, learning about the record industry, and then from there becoming a manager. And we worked with bands like huge bands like Slipknot, not you know, a very very angry heavy band um but a band that's you know toured the world you know and you know would rent jump beat up the rent jumbo planes to to tour europe and we were you know with collapsible staging and so all this wealth of knowledge through the music industry and then and then when i left the music industry um you know this is fast forwarding a lot of years um, going into a really dark time in my life, which I wouldn't trade for the world because this was all, this is all the juice, all the most amazing things happens when you're in your shadow, you know, all these things get discovered. And, you know, I worked on clearing so much of a, a, a timeline that we, I, I didn't even know about that was repeating over and over to multiple lives, uh, a certain trauma that, you know, I wouldn't have known about it if I didn't go through that dark time. And when I came out of that and the fog cleared and I'm like, whoa, what happened to my meditation and my, and my vegan practice and, you know, my, my spiritual practice, what's going on with me? I don't even know. Like, you know, I cleared all of this stuff through, through past life regression and finding these attachments that I've had with non-trustural and multidimensional entities and clearing that and breaking those contracts and then what came through was this movie that I was going to write and I started writing it and then when I got it funded and ready to basically um, film um, I went on a meditation in Topanga and that's where spirit came through and said put that on hold and start this foundation so um, it, it, it took a, a year and a half for it to fully come through and develop into what it is, the idea and the vision of what it is. Um, and it just tapped into so much of my past life work and leading to this life where, where what was lacking in so many timelines is being of service. So creating a, path, a, a platform where people can really tap into a sense, a, a, a sense a, ancestral wounding child wounding inner child wounding and clear that to clear this path into being of service to help you know this this ascension process and and help uplift our vibration to you know this this preparedness this state of of fifth dimension so yeah and for those who don't know so this is so i didn't know that you were actually into this before you were actually working with those bands right so you were like in this awareness and you that you had your career and then you came to this understanding of this awareness that you wanted to create this foundation, right? Yeah. So the shot you, was, my, was my activation. From there it was Greer and you know, yeah. some of the the early nineties stuff, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. So for those who don't know what Disclosure Fest is, because you truly created something beautiful, I want to really spend we have um what do we have? We have twenty one minute until we start the mass meditation. I really want you to tell people what is Disclosure Fest, and if you could just throw us some stats, you know, the numbers of people that yeah, show up. Can I actually want to stay and play a video? It's, it's like yeah, so much you want to do that? Yeah, let's sure. do that. Make sure you share the sound when you share your video. Um, you tell me if you can hear it. Okay. 
Give me a thumbs up if you can, uh, if you hear it. everyone, this is Adrian Valero with Disclosure Fest Foundation. We are a multicultural initiative-based nonprofit platform here in Los Angeles, primarily focusing on six initiatives, our mass meditation initiative, a mindful yoga, music, healing and arts, vegan festival, Feed Our Souls, our homeless initiative, Star Seed, our children's initiative, their clean air initiative, tree planting, forest restoration, our beach and river cleanup initiative and our Every Elder Initiative. For me, it's about sparking something in humanity and our creativity and our passion for being with each other and the planet. It just makes my heart smile. One of our initiatives that we're most known for is the Mass Meditation Initiative, which happens every year, summer solstice in Los Angeles State Historic Park. Up to 22,000 people. This is a mindful yoga, music, healing and arts, vegan festival. So we kind of touch on all these different ways for people to activate our higher consciousness, meditation, workshops, and so many indigenous elders from numerous tribes come and inspires people to tap into a different frequency, something that sparks and activates our being. One of our most important initiatives is called Feed Our Souls, our homeless initiative, where we do these mini pop-up festivals in Skid Row, working with our homeless brothers and sisters on the streets and bring different organic plant-based foods, healing sanctuaries, a space for children, clothes, barbers, showers. Can we support each other? This is a honor for us to show up. I'd say my favorite time was Feed Our Souls on Skid Row. The joy you see when somebody gets treated like a human and it helps you connect back to that we're all connected. One of our other initiatives that we do at Disclosure Fest Foundation is our Starseed Initiative. We go into schools where our children are dealing with severe poverty or actual homelessness. So we bring a curriculum into these schools with different teachers, yoga teachers, instructors, sound healers, and we bring 100% plant-based foods. So bringing these mindful meditation, yoga, sound healing, parkour, Jedi basketball, to schools like this and work with children that are working with so much trauma, it's a healing exchange for these children and also the community of volunteers instructors and teachers that join us. They get to really drop into their ninja self and they get to surprise themselves with what they're capable of. Can you all put your here? Yeah. When I found Disclosure Fest Foundation, it helped me find more purpose in my life. Living a life of service has helped my depression. One of the first initiatives that we introduced in 2017 is our Clean Air Initiative. This initiative partners with multiple foundations like Tree People and Arroyo Seco. We plant trees and restore forests and waterways. We restored waterways on multiple mountains. We planted over 26,000 trees. The trunk of the tree wants to be in the sun and in the wind and the air. The tree that I just planted is called Coast Live Oak, which is the most important species that here in California along the Santa Monica Mountains. This initiative is also designed to activate our root. When you're planting a tree and your hands are in the soil, you're remembering that connection with Mother Earth. Also in 2017, we introduced our Beach and River Cleanup Initiative, partnering with other foundations like Heal the Bay, Oceans Conservancy, it's great for the community to come out, put their feet in the sand, connect with the earth. Within a few years, we picked up over almost 30,000 pounds of trash. Some of the things we learned, how this trash affects our marine life and their habitat. And making a difference in the survival of that ecosystem is so important for the community. So in 2020, one of our newest initiatives that we partnered with Alma is our Every Elder Initiative. This is an initiative where we and our volunteers go into convalescent homes, retirement homes, assisted living, and just sit and listen to our elders. A lot of them have been forgotten, and we bring meditation and sound healing, industrial crafts, musicians that can sing a song, and when you can bring the community together, it's such a beautiful, amazing thing. Disclosure Fest is all about being of service, and just know you can be a part of something that serves a homeless person in the streets, a child, or Mother Earth, or oceans.
So join us at Disclosure Fest Foundation. You can go to disclosurefest.org. Everything we do is volunteer based. So whether it's coming to a tree planting or joining us at Feed Our Souls, any one of our initiatives requires the energy and the passion of the people in our community around us. If you feel called on our website, you can sign up on an application to become a volunteer. We'd love to have you or support us in donations. And if you feel really strongly about one of our initiatives in particular, we can make sure to direct your donation to that initiative. So please don't hesitate. And love to see you soon. Beautiful. Amazing. So the, the reason why I really love what you do is because you you not only are into consciousness, spirituality, empowerment, but you're actually taking the practical steps. And these initiatives are those are those steps that you're taking to actually make an impact on the world, not just talking about it. Yeah, and it, it's really important. I mean, I've been going to these events, um, like you know, conscious events for so long. And we, you know, and that's why I love your event as well. It's like it's, it's different because you can people leave your event. I feel like they're actually bringing that practice home with them instead of. You know, a lot of these other events, I'm feeling like um, more people are more addicted to the, you know, the the exopolitics and the uh, and the ET information mm -hmm. instead of like really taking that information home and actually applying it. Mm -hmm. um, and and it's just, you know, th th this foundation is just is, is it's part of like that raising the the vibration and the being of service. So you're activating each each one of these. Um, initiatives that we do activates a different part, a different ascension key. Mm -hmm. you know, like our, so our, like our, our inner child with with uh, our star seed initiatives, just really tapping into old like wounded. Um, you know, but it, it kind of said it in that video. So it's really important to get out there, and if you can figure that out, if it, figure out a time, whatever it is, just going to a park or going to buy a case of water and. And, and passing it out to when it's a really hot day to some of our houseless brothers and sisters and under a bridge somewhere, or, you know, go, walking into a convalescent home and just really like livening up the place. You know, when you walk into a lot of these homes, like you can feel the vibration being super low. And when we leave a, an every elder, you know, it's really, really high. You know, and same thing with Skid Row. When we get up there and when we get to Skid Row in the morning, 8 a.m., it starts setting up. I mean, you can feel it. It's just dragging in your heart. You can feel how low the vibration is. And by noon, people are dancing live. You can really feel the difference of the frequency of an area that's been super suppressed. And just being able to bring the community there to, to see that and actually witness, you know, like what it's like to be in a situation like that. But then seeing it shift but still going home with those like, wow, I can't believe people are living like that, you know? And that's a really amazing, um, like Feed Our Souls is a really amazing, beautiful experience and activation because when you're handing, you know, someone that may have like HIV um, and is holding up their pants because they don't have a belt or shoes and you're handing them a plate of food, but you're really looking in their eyes and you can see a reflection of yourself within them. So that's where you can see the oneness of the universe, you know? So that's a whole nother activation. So each one designed to activate a different part of our ascension keys that are usually and mainly dormant because of we're in this cycle, this repetitive cycle of, of like survival mode, paying the rent and the bills and what am I gonna do? Am I gonna have enough money to even like go and sell, have any self care and travel. Like it's just this, there's no space left to be of service and those keys lay dormant. So I, I just really encourage people out there to really try to find that space within their life to just to be of service. And again, don't forget service to self is so important. Self care. I'm even figuring out that balance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Th that's uh, something that I've just been figuring out the last couple of years too. Like we spoke yesterday. Honestly, I, I've been sleeping 10 hours a night during this whole, I event, love it. you know, I'm getting all the sleep I need. I take a walk in the morning. You got to take care of yourself. But I think like, that's why I love you, bro. Like you're such high integrity, such compassion. And when I look at you and I see you and I went in the first word that you say to me, I already know your intention. Like it's just in your voice. It's just you, you know, and I would love for you to tell everybody because we haven't really got into the festival. How did the festival manifest out of all this? And is the festival like, are, 
do you like get donations in from the festival and put it into these initiatives? How does that work? So yeah, the way the festival came about is our first initiative. So the the mass meditation initiative, because that's you know we only really focus on initiative. That is the activation. So you come to the festival. There's four stages and 16 workshop spaces and the art, the, one of the biggest art walks in LA and so many architects, like probably four or five builders from Burning Man that build like these huge structures are building a 32 acres of an activated property. Um, and then you come and you, that's where your activation is so that you can fully understand it and then come join us on the weekends to activate all these other parts of ourselves. So yeah, the, the, the spirit always, you know, it's, it's been a very interesting dynamic because um, a lot of people in the can't understand it. I've had to surrender and just trust to it. So it is a free event. Um, it, that said, it is also the size of a lightning in a bottle, you know, where it's $500 ticket. And it's very difficult to do. Spirit was very clear. And every year I ask, you know, um, in December, when I get my download for the next year, is this the year I'm going to be able to charge, you know, like, you know, and, and every year it comes back, same thing. No, keep it free. And, you know, and, and make it a healing experience for the, how people enter. So there's, you can donate or you can, um, to get a free ticket and a lot of people are starting to catch on to the donation ticket and it's been very helpful and you know each initiative has their own way of making um, so having some abundance to support itself that said we are you know in a place where we you know I'm calling more and more for for people to see what we're doing and support us because it is very difficult a lot of it is self-funded um and and we're just you know we're just going to keep going and, and going and going and it's not going to stop um and i think people are just really starting now to really catch on to like wow and that video you just saw it took us five years to create something like that like i honestly cried when i saw it and you know back from the editor because i know what we've done but i've never seen it like that so that's yeah. why I'm, you want to hear about it let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, I'm with you, man. Like, it's so difficult sometimes to get something well produced. So when it happens and you're like, whoa, that conveys a story, it's like emotional. Yeah. Oh, it's, you, know? you know, a lot of time we're just so busy and wrapped up in the service work and the work that we're doing that, you know, we're like, you're a skeleton. You you're, you have like, you know, it's you and a few people probably working all in portal. Mm -hmm. Same here. Like everyone thinks we're like this huge thing, but really, you know, we're eight people yeah. you know running like a 20 plus thousand person festival so you know we just got to keep going and, and, and you know like keep spreading the vibes and people will see us definitely just want to um um look at some of these comments here Catherine's saying fabulous event um someone here jamal is saying i need your info he needs to contact you such a bright light you are adrian so maybe you can put in your email address or something in the chat room when we're done here. Um, and then inspiring, are, there, are they only organized events on the West Coast? So yeah, we have five chapters and they're, they're starting to catch on. Um, Denver, DC, Toronto, um, LA, and actually now we're trying to open one in, in, um, in, in Oregon in Portland. So um, it's just hard to catch on. So if people want to actually start a Disclosure Fest um, initiative program in their cities, reach out to us. You can, I check it all the time, contact at disclosurefest.org. So there's that email. Um, and thank you for wanting to, to reach out to me. Um, so yeah, contact. And if you feel like it, we're putting together figuring out a way to put together like a little kit that someone can just start this in their home cities yourself, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and figure out a way to, to sustain it. Even if it's just one initiative, you know, go out and clean a park every two weeks, you know, like just, it's enough. And then you just build it. Like we, we built, we add a new initiative every year. So, you know, that this is going to eventually get into something, you know, I don't even know. I'm just going with the flow. It's just, it's just growing. I mean, you do you do beach cleanups, you know, things that most people that go to these events and conferences, we really don't even think about. We, and 
So you're going out there and actually doing things that make the world better for us. And then you also do, um, you also do like, what is it? A hike, hiking trails where people are foraging for things that are edible or something like that? Yeah, some of our other events that are, they're not initiative, they're just conscious events. And we'll have our like herb hike and meditation. So we'll go out with uh, herbalists. And so you can kind of know about everything, all the medicine that's literally growing in your yard that you cut down every week. Mm -hmm. And how you can use that in your daily life, and it's like like some some of the healing, most healing yeah. uh, medicines, and just in your yard. Yeah. Dude, you're you're educating humanity, and it's pretty cool because I feel like you know we're really connecting a lot and uh, collaborating on every level possible. And between the two of us, we cover so much. You know, when it comes to educating the the public about becoming a conscious planet. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I'm excited, and so I'm going to be hosting one um i'm gonna do host a couple of people during during the weekend but why don't you plug and tell people about what's going to be happening in six days from now oh yeah so it's so we try to do our event you know normal our festival like you know normal this year but with uh with the planetary reality we shifted to this um virtual mass meditation initiative we're going to have it on 10 10 and 10 11. um you can go to disclosurefest.org and um and check it out and, and sign up for it so you can get some reminders. And yeah, I mean, if you want, I can show you a video of that too. And Michelle's here in perfect timing. Hey! Yay, I'm so excited. Adrian, I'm watching the chat room and seeing how many people are inspired to create the movement in their towns. And this is how this is how real change happens right here. Neil, Adrian, you two have given me good bumps like crazy. I really feel the shift. The shift is here. It is upon us. And each one of you viewers that, that have uh, um, connected with what Adrian and Neil are doing, take it forward. This is what our mission is on earth, is to, to really up level and, and create this change on the planet. And thank you. I'm so glad we're all going to be meditating together. Definitely. And Adrian, you wanted to show us the, the video or do you want to say something first and show us that video? Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the video. I mean, I'm just, you know, now we have these things. Yeah, we're going to get started with the, the mass meditation in just a few minutes. So maybe right after the video. Yep. Cool. Let's uh, actually one second. Let's take a little picture, shall we, of all of us. Where's Sharia? Oh, uh, where's she? I don't know. I think she left the room. I see her. I see her picture. Did you mention my name? Yes, come yeah, in, yeah. come in. Come and say hi. We're going to take a picture of all of us. There she is. is. All right, wave guys. Hey. Hey. All right, cool. <laughs> Thanks, All right, guys. so Adrian, if you want to show the, the video, then we'll we'll talk for like a minute or so, and then you can go into meditation. Oh, yeah. You have, to, you have to share a screen. one minute i'm proud of it um so yeah this year just so you know i keep forgetting to mention this um and it's all in all of our literature and our website that this year 
half of all the proceeds. It's a free mass, uh, free virtual mass meditation. You can join in for free. You do not have to donate, but if you feel called to, I just want to let everyone know that half of all the donations are going to Crete Academy, one of our partner children's schools. Um, over 200, there's over 220 children right now. Half of them are experiencing houselessness, homelessness, um, or severe poverty. And the school is really trying to figure out a way to um, create a program where they can provide housing. A lot of these children are actually leaving their school with this awesome curriculum and then getting, you know, some of them are in motels and some of them are on the streets. So they get like having to get reset every day because some of the trauma they're experiencing when they leave the school is, is pretty intense. As you can imagine um, being in like South Central on the streets. So, so, so just so you know, half of all the proceeds raised from Disclosure Fest virtual mass meditation is going to go to Crete Academy and the other half is going to get split up between our, our other five um, initiatives. So if you feel called to support, it'd be so amazing. And Michelle, I wanted to, you, maybe you can chime in here a little bit because you're going to be hosting this Closure Fest as well. And you've been with Adrian, you know, I think for since the first one, right? So what's your experience been like and what are you going to be doing at the, at the Disclosure Fest? Well, when it comes to, I went to the first one, but I didn't really connect with Adrian, didn't even know he was the founder. Adrian's Mr. Humble. And I thought one of the MCs was the founder for like the first two years. So yes, last year was the year I got most involved and um, produced the Star Ancestor space with all of our indigenous elders and brothers and sisters. And it, it's it really moved my heart that Adrian recognized um, how important it was to, to have our First Nation family there blessing the land and calling forward the ancestors of the land and sharing this ancient wisdom, just like you did, Neil, this time you had Chief Golden Light Eagle and, um, and we did his interview on Friday, but um, and that's an interesting dynamic when you're at a vegan festival, right? Because uh, typically our First Nation families are using drums and, and uh, instruments that are made from animals, but they're also sharing a deep reverence for how that came to be. And um, it's also giving us all an opportunity to come into acceptance of where everybody's at in consciousness and um just just loving everyone right where they're we're right where we're at i just came off of uh another zoom meeting with scott katamas and we talked about how festivals unite us through the music that ignites us and when we're ignited those chambers of our hearts open you i bet Many people uh, listening right now and viewing right now are feeling when they watch that video that Adrian presented, you can feel just how uplifted and inspired and ignited everyone is. And when we're sharing that with the, the whole of the collective and the cosmos, we're creating change. What I love is, is how both of you are giving back, how both of you are consciously collaborating and weaving what you're both doing to set the bar and set the standards so that people around the world can do this too and can help contribute. Like Adrian said, those initiatives are so powerful. And Adrian, I don't want to see Adrian carry the weight of all of this by himself any longer. He has had some amazing sponsors in the past and each one of these initiatives takes donations to make them go, you know, to when Adrian's doing all of this organizing for feeding the homeless and <clears throat> planting trees and doing cleanups and bringing vegan food to those children at, at Crete Academy or bringing sound healing to the elderly. Um, these are important things that we're doing for our communities. And I just appreciate anybody who feels inspired to help out or inspired to start your own programs in your communities around the world. We're doing it. We're shifting the planet, shifting the consciousness on the planet. And it's only going to happen when we do it together. 
I love that. Easily beautiful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love I, all of I, you so I, much. So, um, all right. So we get into the meditation, guys. I was going to eleven eleven to eleven twenty two. So we'll go a little bit over, but I just want to say really quick, Adrian, when you're done with meditation, if you wouldn't mind talking to some people in the chat room, because a lot of people want to be involved. So maybe you can just click their names, respond, give you info. Some people have um, have acreage in different states that they're talking about here. So if you want to go ahead and engage, please do. Um, and besides that, guys, this not only are we doing this, this five days, but six days from today, Disclosure Fest begins five days after we're done. I'm going to be a part of that. It's it's a continuation of this energy. We're not stopping. We've collaborated for many reasons, and synchronistically, we just happen to be doing it within a week of each other. So, you know, really, after you're done with this, please do sign up for Disclosure Fest and um, watch it live if you can, watch the replays. But after we've had all this information, what better than to dance it out, you know, with all this amazing music. So please do check out DisclosureFest.org and sign up. And besides that, I think, um, Michelle, should we give it away and uh, give it to Adrian, let him do the meditation? Absolutely. I think everybody's right. ready for that. Yes. Thank okay. you. Take it away. Yeah. So you have, you have five minutes over what we originally said. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to play some mood music. Can you hear that? Let us all like feel into our body. Hear your breath in your ears, feeling your lungs expanding. Just really tune into your breath. Scan your body from the top of your head into your shoulders and your torso. Keep scanning all the way down to your abdomen. Feel your sitting bones connected. Connected to our great mother as she holds us up, nurtures us. We remember how our great mother's just been there. So, so many years we don't even realize this grand connection as we're growing. Some of, it are, some of us are so fortunate into tapping into the remembrance. Of this symbiotic connection with our mother, our great mother earth. And when we finally do, we're like, wow. Why was I asleep to this most powerful connection. As we are in our day-to-day -day lives, a lot of time we hold on to emotional stress or traumas. Our great mother is there. She will help us. Let's ask our great mother now to help clear and heal some of this energies and that may not be serving our highest purpose. And let's take a few breaths as we breathe her energy in, 
from the ground into our lower chakras through our root and we fill our body and our light body and our aura with this magnificent energy from our great mother. Feel that energy filling our aura as wide as it goes. You know how wide your aura is. Fill that up with our earth energy, with our great mother's heart. And then as you exhale, let's bring that energy back down into the earth as she filters, and clears, and heals assists us with this. Let's do a couple more breaths like that. Filling our body, our light body, and our aura. And then exhaling it back down. Every breath down, you're feeling lighter. One more time. Breathe in, fill, fill this all. And then exhale, let this clear. As you feel so light, you're almost going to float. Thank you, Great Mother. Thank you. Let's shift our attention now to the sun in the sky, connecting to the central sun in the universe. As we take a deep breath, I wanna bring this beautiful column of golden light from the sun all the way down as it touches the tip of our head, enters our crown chakras and passes through your body, passing your third eye, your throat, your heart chakra, the center of our being, passing our solar plexus and our sacral and our root as this column comes out of your tailbone into the ground, burrowing so deep like a root, like from a tree, so deep until it penetrates the earth's core the heart of our great mother. And we visualize inside this core like a tree blossoming and branching out and filling this whole core, filling our great mother's heart. As now we take a deep breath into the core, into the heart of our great mother, seeing those branches lighting up with green and pink swirling energy as that energy and light rides up that root all the way up into our body, our light body, and our aura. Fill it all the way to the top and hold your breath. Feel that connection. as we exhale back down. And now let's breathe into our heart space. The center of our being. Filling your heart. Let's visualize now the sun as we take a deep breath from the sun, bringing that beautiful column of golden light all the way down again. And bring that into your crown. And I want you to fill that whole breath of sun into your heart space. See the whole breath going in and filling your heart. as we ask our great mother to take a breath from her heart, her core, 
and we take a deep breath from the earth's core, our mother's heart, and bring that energy all the way up. And we fill our hearts with a breath in our great mother's core. See that energy from her core fill your heart as you now see and zoom into your heart space with that radiancy so bright, spinning with green and pink swirly energy. And let's now keep taking breaths from the sun and the earth and keep filling that heart space. As you see it get brighter and brighter. As this heart space now is so bright, it's leaving the lining of your body and filling up the room that you're in as we continue to breathe from the sun and from the earth into our hearts and this auric field of our heart is expanding into your neighborhood. You see it expanding into your city you see this expanding and now starting to connect with all the people on this stream that are all over the world. We can see our hearts now starting to connect with every breath expanding, going over the oceans, other countries, until we circumvent our planet. As we fill this blanket of pure, unconditional love, circumventing our planet, realizing and remembering our star families here for with us, our animal spirits, our spirit guides. Let's feed this blanket every day with pure intentions as we shift and see this planet with no more wars, no more suppressions of the feminine or the, our children, dismantling our weaponized systems and creating self-sustainable structures and products with those, sending love and frequency to our politicians and lawmakers giving them the courage and support to understand the change we need on this planet. Remembering our animal family as we work on being more of a plant-based planet, clearing and healing let's see this planet and as we see this planet the way we would like to see this planet and so it is let us now breathe back into our bodies understanding the journey we just took, the path
power, the connection that we all have to the universe, the oneness that we are. And we feel back into our bodies. And slowly coming back. You can open your eyes whenever you are ready. Thank you for taking this journey with me. Mm. Thank you, Adrian. Alan. Yeah, I think we should just sit in that vibration for a moment and just take it in and let it go through each part of our body to integrate it. I mean, thanks for doing that, Adrian. And um, the, the whole world is going to be a disclosure fest at some point, isn't it? <laughs> because w I, I was there when you did it at the uh, Lincoln Memorial. With oh, the, yeah, that was phenomenal. Yeah, it was cold. It was cold, but it was worth it. Because when, yeah. when we get a bunch of people doing that all together, live or online something unifies us to you know into a one mind into a, in a collective consciousness so good luck with the upcoming uh show tell us when it is again uh it's next saturday and sunday october 10th and 11th you can go to disclosurefest.org uh, okay. reserve your ticket um it's free or you can donate remember half of all the proceeds go to crete academy mm -hmm. And yeah, see you um, next Saturday and have an amazing continuation of Portal to Ascension. Great. If there's anything you need me for next week, let me know, okay? Awesome. Yes, for sure. Okay. Adrian. Adrian, what's your website? Portal uh, Disclosurefest.org. Disclosurefest.org. Okay. Awesome. Adrian Valera right Thanks here. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you so much for tuning in. Mm. Sending you all so much love. Yes. Yeah.